How to fix iOS 13 FaceTime errors. Phonebulance.com Hey guys, welcome back to Phonebulance. And in today's video, we're going to talk about what to do when FaceTime won't work on your iPhone or iPad. But before we get started, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to support our channel. Okay, let's do this thing. I don't know about you, but I use FaceTime all the time. You can imagine my horror when, after updating to iOS 13, I kept getting FaceTime errors. It was so annoying. It took me quite a while to troubleshoot a solution, and soon it was clear I wasn't alone. Many people were in the same boat. So on that note, the helpful team at Phonebulance have decided to give you the definitive guide on how to fix iOS 13 FaceTime errors. Unfortunately, this issue was a case of poor timing. Recent updates to iOS 13 have caused numerous FaceTime errors, at a time when you're probably using FaceTime calls the most. Have no fear though, we have the answers. You'll be speaking with grandma, grandpa, mom and dad in no time, so stay tuned. It's not you, it's me. Sometimes the problem just simply isn't on your end. Check the Apple server status page for any problems or loss of service. This page can be accessed through the support section on the Apple official website. A status of gray or red corresponding with a FaceTime logo indicates a problem on the server end. It's just a waiting game in this case as the Apple techs and engineers rectify the issue. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Sometimes turning something off and on again fixes the issue. Don't ask us why, I don't think anyone really knows, but just trust us. For some reason, any update can make a device grumpy. Head over to Settings in the FaceTime menu and swipe the FaceTime status to off. Wait about 10 seconds, then swipe it back to the on position. Try to make a FaceTime call. If it works, great, we've done our job. If it does not, however, try the next method in our troubleshooting list. After an update, there may be an issue with logins and permissions expiring, preventing your device from doing what you want it to do. Here's how you refresh the account credentials and reauthorize FaceTime. Once again, go to Settings and into the FaceTime menu. Tap on Apple ID, Sign Out, and then sign back in with your Apple ID and password. When you're here, check whether Apple ID lists your current phone number correctly. Any old numbers hanging around can cause FaceTime not to work properly. Turn FaceTime and iMessage off. Select your Apple ID profile and tap on Name, Phone Number, and Email. Scroll down to the Reachable At section and check to see if the info is correct. If it's not, go ahead and enter the updated details. Restrictions on content and privacy may also affect how FaceTime operates. Go back into the settings, select Screen Time, and tap Content and Privacy Restrictions. Enter your Screen Time passcode, tap on Allowed Apps, and make sure the toggle next to FaceTime is set to Allow or Enable. Did this do the trick? Yes? Great. No? We have another one for you. Keep watching. Have you really tried turning it off and on again? Now that we've determined that FaceTime itself is operating correctly and the permissions are in place, we have to eliminate the possibility of any firmware glitches caused by the recent update to your device. A soft reboot may be needed, and here's how to do it. Press and hold the lock button and raised volume button for a few seconds. When you're prompted to slide to power off, release the buttons and drag your finger across the screen. After 30 seconds, hold the lock or home button until the white Apple logo appears on screen. After your device boots back up, try FaceTime again. It should be working. A great way to fly. One other thing we can try is to refresh your internet connection. This is a simple one. We turn Wi-Fi off, enter airplane mode, and perform a soft reset. Once the phone is booted back up, turn airplane mode off and try FaceTime, either over a Wi-Fi network or using your cellular data. Another hint, this method is useful for fixing most issues with Apple devices. Just a heads up. This is my last resort. If all else fails, we have a couple of tried and tested safety net style fixes for you. Please make sure that you've tried the previous fixes at least a few times each before attempting these next ones, okay? Resetting all settings means just that. Just letting you know, guys. To reset all settings, head to the General tab and tap on Reset. Choose Reset All Settings, enter your passcode, and away you go. While you're here in general, select Reset Menu and Reset Network Settings, just to make sure. Although rare, this could be a SIM card issue. Turn the phone off, remove the SIM card tray using the ejector tool found in the device box, reinstall the SIM card, and turn on the phone. Head back into the settings, into the FaceTime menu, and check your phone number is showing correctly under the You Can Be Reached by FaceTime At and Caller ID sections. Where to go from here? 
Failing that, you have two options. Head over to the Apple Store to check if your device is faulty, or wait for the next iOS update containing a fix for the issue. You have done all you can at this stage. And that just about wraps things up for today. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give us a like and let us know in the comments if you've used any of these methods discussed in today's video. Did they work? Do you have any others that you may have stumbled across and want to share with us? Remember to smash that subscribe button and share this video if you want more content just like this. See you next time.